Moon Knight Up Moon. I am back with another internet interview because we're in the middle of a pandemic. But this one is very unique because it is kind of been our awareness month. And for those of you who know or have been around me for a while, you know kind of is a very home, home topic for me. If I have a, had a son that passed away from it almost seven years ago. So I try and honor him every every October by producing something about kind of visitor. So today I have a man here. He won us all adaptive beauty and I talked about that new a little bit in the past, so I'll put the information down below. But anyway, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Samantha, and I have a visitor. All right. So my first question is, I know you have kind of visitor. Can you explain what that is in your own work for people who might not know what it is? Okay, so some spina bifida is a birth defect in which developing a baby's spinal cord fails to develop properly. It can also come with having other complications like hydrocephalus, which is a buildup in, up of fluid deep within the brain. And it also can come with having Chiari malformation, which is a condition in which brain tissue extends into the spinal cord to present at birth. Interesting. I learn something new every time I, every time I do the interview, I learn something new. I did not know that I had a missing in her other condition that I'm a born with it. I knew about high well, high well, because he had missed, he had posted about it. But I did not know about the other one. So, yeah, I learned something new. Mm -hmm. and, can you explain your, your kind of better diagnostic journey and how it has affected in your life? Uh, Spinal bifida never really affected my life. I always kind of learned just how to um, adapt to any, any situation. The only reason it's affected me, it's actually affected me right now because I'm trying to figure out what to do about college and trying to find out what jobs I can do with spina bifida. Because obviously I can't lift on stuff and like do certain things that a normal body person can do. So that's why it's affecting me right now, but we'll, we'll get through it and we'll figure it out. So. Yeah, I am. Uh... So I graduated high school in May, and this past May, and I had to figure out what I wanted to do, and I had I had this wonderful platform uh, that I started in my fourth year of high school. So I decided I wanted to make my own personal brand because. I kind of understand what you're saying. It's very hard when you send me the same to find a place to work and find what you can do because you don't know if that workplace will offer you the help you need. Yeah. 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 It's a very interesting uh, road, road to walk down what you're out of high school, you're like, now what? So everything is planned for you up until you're out of high school. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have a whole bunch of moments thing you have to do and things like that. So having a disability and a young, being a young adult can be very complicated. Um, in, in what way have you adapted to my with FB adaptive assessment, disability, cultural move, or anything else? I use AFOs, which is ankle, foot, orthos, 
And also I use a walker and a wheelchair. I have never really gotten into disability like social groups until this year when I started really getting serious about uh, my Instagram and like YouTube. So unfortunately, I just now I'm starting to get into the this um, the disability community. So um, yeah, but now this year I've, ha I've found so many groups and like I have so many new friends that have disabilities and it's amazing. Yeah. Because it's one thing to talk to somebody that's um, like a normal, a, an able-bodied person, but then when you find somebody that has the same problems you do, it's amazing because they actually, like, they really understand you. So. Yeah, I completely agree because I met some amazing people on YouTube and Adaptive Beauty could really, really, really help. And when you are when you are in school, I feel like you don't really have the time to hunt down people who are missed like you, but once you met out in the community like this and become a young adult, you um you meet more people. But I recently started going to a walking club every every Thursday night, and they all have disability. So that's pretty fun. That's awesome. Yeah, and then I have my adaptive beauty loop that you're in too. So, mm -hmm. Yep, and then my platform as well. What is your YouTube channel, by the way? My YouTube is Makeup and Hot Rods. Okay, everybody know subscribe to her when you are done watching this video. I'll put it down here so people can find it. Um, let's see. What is the biggest obstacle that you think living with kind of Methodist? Okay, so dating. Because as a, an able-bodied person, dating is hard. But when you have a disability, you have to worry about like tons of other things. So you have to worry about, is this person with you because they truly love you? Or are they with you because they want a project? Because I've had guys that they say they like me, but mm -hmm. they don't really like me. They just want to feel like they are doing something. So they mm -hmm. like kind of like treat me like a baby almost. Mm -hmm. And you also, this is really weird, and I don't know if anyone that is like an able-bodied person will understand this, but people that have disabilities will understand this. Um, some people have fetishes for different things, and I have found out that guys have, some guys have fetishes for people that have disabilities. Like, they're with you because they like you just for your disability. Right. It's super weird. I don't understand that, but it's that it's just that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, and I feel yeah, like I'm I don't date, but I have dated in the past, and um, I feel yeah, like it's awesome when you're the family, not only dating relationships, but also best friend relationships or any type of relationship. Any type of relationship that is not a family member or a pet, uh, not a family member is really difficult because people love to pity you. People yes. love to pity you and not to be baby treating. And that's what I saw when people treat us like a baby. And uh, people love to walk in and out of your mic too with no no reason to it at all but i had people completely disappear hot testing me and i'm like what did i okay what did i do I, yeah i want to know why are you telling me so any time when we make them sip it's hot it's very difficult, especially dating. I have, 
I have a dating story. So, come here. If you want to DM me sometime, I'd be happy to tell you my dating story. Okay. <laughs> but I'm not going to put it out on the web. <laughs> I totally understand. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think I have a video about we make sense too. So, I'll put it down here if any of you want to watch that. Um, if you had the opportunity to peek out to other teens with or without disability, what would you want them to know about teenage life with SP or disability in the world? We are normal, normal people. Treat us like we are normal. Don't ha you don't have to baby us or you know worry about hurting our feelings. If you have a problem with me, please come to me and let me know what the problem is. Because I am the kind of person, if you have a problem with me, I want you to tell me so we can fix it. Because I hate when people don't tell me why they're mad at me. They just walk out on me and never talk to me again. I would love for them to come to me and let me know what I did because I am just a normal person. Yes, I have a disability. That's it. I am a normal human, just like everybody else. Right. I completely agree. Because I had some people, I said, my I said, when do we walk out? And then that, to me, that's more upsetting than what, what the person is mad at me for. Even, right. Even if it's something horrible, you know, me walking out, walking out is a bar, 100% the worst thing you can do to someone with a disability or to someone without a disability. It's all about humanity. Um, right. Yeah, because I actually went to a webinar uh, on Wednesday of that week, all about humanity. It was really interesting. But never ever walk out on anybody. No. Have a reason for what you're doing, and if you don't have a reason, then why are you doing it? <laughs> right. Everything you do will have a reason, regardless of what you think or do. Yep. So if you if you know what your hope and dream, do you know what your hope and dream are from the future? I feel like that my hopes and dreams are just like everybody else. Um, I want to graduate high school. This is my senior year, so I'll be graduating this year. I um want to go to college, just like you know any other teenager. And I want to get a job. I want to get married and have kids and just live a happy life. Nice. So, I mean, I mean, Corona won't ruin uh, the rest of your senior year. Yeah. I'm hoping Corona doesn't ruin the rest of your senior year. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Uh, what did you say? I said, um, I'm a home Corona done it ruin the rest of your senior year. Oh, okay. Sorry, my internet keeps like um being uh, with me. Um I, I'm actually already homeschooled, so um that's nice. So it has not affected my school year at all. So hopefully nice. it nothing Nothing happens and I can, you know, stay safe and we'll be good as long as I don't get sick. <laughs> so <laughs> Right. I know my senior year in high school about a little messed up. <laughs> Me since the moment. But that's okay. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like to never the phone up. If you have any questions for me or for me, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to reply. And uh, if you're new here, please subscribe. 
I am almost at 350 subscribers and it would be, it would mean the world to me if I hit that.